It's right here with the Eco Wit Wit Boy. This is a uh, powered uh, station, a uh, weather station. This company sent this to me so I can do this unboxing video with you guys. So thank you to them for partnering with me on this. All right, opening it up. Looks like you have some boxes in a box. Got a box in a box. Just gonna dump that right on upside down. Oh, we got a few boxes in a box. Hang on. We got all kind of things going on here. So this right here seems to be like the main uh, reader, if you will. And then you have a little uh, sensor link and server. It's like a base station type of thing. And this doesn't have anything written on it. So let's do the big box first. What we got in here? Okay, we do have some instructions right there up top. Packaged nicely so that it doesn't get damaged in shipping. Opening this up. Okay, this is just a styrofoam uh, foam piece in there. Okay. So this right here is like the thing that's picking up all the pressures and the weather and the temperature and all that type of stuff. I'm assuming this is some kind of light that's on the top right there. Not 100% sure. You got a little disc down here. You got this little nougat that plugs into right here. I'm assuming this is to keep like insects out of that little micro, the screen that's built onto here. And then you have, uh, looks like this goes onto a mast of some sort if you want to dock it up high. I'm assuming that's how that works. There's a little screw right here on the side. I'm not too sure what that's for. And they do have a little, it's a little compass thing and there's an in underneath it so that you know to point this northward is what I'm assuming that is. I'm kind of curious because they have just some simple screw right here. Let's unscrew this and see what we got on the inside here. Yeah, it's popping right on out. Oh. Keep coming. Oh, some batteries. We need a couple of batteries to go into there. Okay. Well, hopefully that's in one of these boxes. If not, we'll have to get this thing up and running and then do a follow-up video. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this is all your accessories. Let's get into this thing first so we can see, kind of have it, have everything out so we can see everything. Okay. Got some more paperwork type stuff right there. We'll throw that there. It's everything in that box. So I'm assuming this is some kind of like receiver type of thing. All right, so we got this nougat on this end. Looks like it plugs into something. We got a nice, decent long cord right there too. Let me see how long this is. Cause you never know where you're gonna need to place these things. So you wanna make sure that you have enough cordage there. I'd say that's a solid three foot cord right there. Okay, and this, uh, let's see, looks like it has the ethernet port right there and it has a power port right there. Although I believe this supports Wi-Fi, if I'm not mistaken. I saw on here. Yeah, it says Wi-Fi, EcoWit, uh, UV index, rain gauge, temperature, humidity, wind direction, wind speed, and solar radiation. So that's all the different things that it can uh, measure. It's ready for home seer, home assistant, weather cloud, EcoWit, weather underground, and the MET office. I don't know what that is. Something in the UK. Okay, and that should be everything that comes with it. It says on here a spike. I don't know, a detachable bird spike? Is that the thing that mounts this thing? Let's get into this. We have all of our accessories here. I'm curious now. Okay, you got all these little nougats and bits. We'll go through that in just a minute. This is your ethernet cable right there. Let's see how long of an ethernet cable they give you. You know, one thing whenever it comes to running things, uh, you never know how far you're going to need to go. So that's why I like to give you guys kind of an estimate of how long cables are and whatnot. That's a good three foot cord right there though. So <clears throat> that's how much you have there. And then this right here is your brick. And then you got a USB-A uh, plugger inner right there. And this of course is your plugger inner for that. Go ahead and check this out as well. Okay. Unwind that. Come on. <laughs> Stinking bread ties. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's a solid like five foot cord right there. Get a little extra with this. All right. So I'm assuming this thing pops on into here because that fits. And then this is going to plug on into here just like this. Then we have the ethernet cord is gonna plug on into here. 
just like that. Oh look, it's got a little mount, a little mounting plate. So if you wanted to mount this up somewhere, you can do that as opposed to just leaving it flat somewhere. That's super cool. I like that they've uh, incorporated that into there. Nice. All right, so we have that. Okay, I, I'm not too sure exactly what this, oh, this must, I think this is a reader of some sort, like a, uh, like an antenna almost, if you will. Okay, we need batteries for that. It didn't come with batteries, dang it, okay. So where, okay, this right here has one of these style of uh, plugger inners right there. And then we also have what's in here. Let me go through this real quick so we can see what's all here. Okay, so this looks like some uh, cable wraps. So you can wrap, wrap it up around something. I'm assuming that's for this piece right here. Couple of screws in there. I'm assuming that's for the back of this if you do want to mount it up, as I was showing y'all. They give you some, this looks like straps of some sort. So you strap something up against. They give you four of those, by the way. And then, oh, maybe it has to do with these things. Oh, they give you five of those, actually. There's another one in here. And then you have uh, these little stake guys right here which I'm not too sure exactly how those work right out of the box. So I need to look into that. I don't see like a place. Maybe this right here. I could be wrong about that though. All right, well, that's everything in the box. And I need to get some batteries for this thing. So I'm going to set this thing up and I'm going to do a follow-up video for you guys. But if you guys found this unboxing video helpful, uh, definitely consider adding this to your cart. Thank you all for watching. And dad out.